East Carolina will finish up the bowl season for the American in the Birmingham Bowl on January 3rd. It's been a whirlwind of a season for East Carolina, the Pirates gaining the most media attention of all the teams in the conference during the first half of the fall. It all started on the road with a big win against Virginia Tech and then continued against in-state rival North Carolina. Two ACC wins chalked up in the first month, putting the Pirates in the top 25. They stayed there for six weeks, reaching as high as number 18. A lot of the hype surrounding seniors Shane Carden and Justin Hardy blowing up on social media as Cardi. The quarterback wide receiver duo connected for nine touchdowns in 2014 and 27 in their careers, which is the most among active tandems. Hardy also became the FBS all-time leading receiver after passing Oklahoma's Ryan Broyles in the second to last game of the season. Pirate Nation hopeful to be the team to get into that New Year's Six Bowl, but there was still a lot of the season left to play. A bump in the road came on a rainy day in Philadelphia. Temple pulled off the big upset at home. Then things got worse when they headed to Cincinnati. A high-scoring back-and-forth game ended with a last-minute Cincinnati game-winning field goal. But there was still one more heartbreaker that came in the Pirates' last game of the season. A huge home matchup against UCF, the Knights needing a win for a share of the conference title, and Ruffin McNeil's Pirates trying to get a win for the seniors on senior night. A Justin Holman Hail Mary pass is going to hand the Pirates their fourth and final loss of the regular season. The Pirates will have a chance for redemption against Florida. The Gators finished 6-5 out of the SEC this year after finishing the season with a hard-fought loss to number 3 Florida State. The high point of the Gators season came when they defeated number 11 Georgia in November. Head coach Will Muschamp resigned following the season and will not coach in the bowl game. Again, this game can be seen on January 3rd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.